guys, and welcome to John Jay Radio's podcast. Today, we're just going to be answering some questions that were submitted in. So, we have... Kevin. Chelsea. Alyssa. Fiona. <laughs> and I'm Michaela. So, Kevin will be reading off some of the questions that we got, and we'll be giving you guys our answers. Oh, damn, you're starting now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. All right, here's a deep one. We'll start with a deep one, guys. Oh, already? Yeah, you know how it is. Start it's off Kevin. Head. What do you expect? Exactly. Mm-hmm. All right. What are you currently worried about? This midterm I just took. <laughs> oh, talk about that. Okay, so the class started at 1215. He, uh, like, he started almost immediately, gave, like, five minutes to introduce everything. We had to open SPSS and everything for it. Literally, I was the first person to leave the class. I didn't leave the class until one twenty-five. What he, time is class? Twelve fifteen. It started pretty much at twelve twenty. And you ended it when? One twenty-five. <laughs> and he <laughs> he even said he was gonna stay like ten twenty minutes after <laughs> to make sure everybody else gets a chance to finish up. Who? Is really trying to stay 10, 20 minutes into community hour see, for a test. Well, that's that's a, why, is this is only a midterm. Why I gotta be so long? It was realistically, it wasn't even that long. It was 10 questions based on the chapters and then eight, eight questions off of SPSS. But like each one, it was one of those type of questions where each question had sub questions. Mm-hmm. So it'll be like question one, A, B, C, question two, A, B, C, D, E. Oh my god, I Ooh. hate tests. So that's like. That. like and then, questions? and then for the SPSS <laughs> right? part, you he had us doing like whole select commands, the descriptive uh, analysis, look at the histograms, <laughs> all of that. My brain hurts. Already. I'm not even in the class. <laughs> What's the next question? All right, I think I like this one. Okay. We all go to criminal justice school, so we must have these dark thoughts sometimes. <laughs> oh, Lord. If you couldn't be convicted of any one type of crime, <laughs> what criminal charge would you like to be immune to? Murder. <laughs> Whoa, 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 come on, come on. No, 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 no. Stealing. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going, I'm calmly going to the Apple Store on Fifth Avenue. I'm taking an iPhone 11. Do you know how many, how many of these bums be pissing me off? I want to push them onto the train tracks while the train is coming. Oh, no, you you wild. That that messes up our commute. So... (laughs) <laughs> you could do that on your on your own time. Oh, you could just go to Best Buy, just steal like. Yo, what if you could just go upstairs at MBJ Cafe, pick out your food, and just leave? <laughs> exactly, free That's, food, yo, free everything. You save money. Yo. You could build up your account. No, stealing. I'm That's done. Stealing. That's, <laughs> That's definitely. So. Oh my god. But wait, we gotta car, think about this though. I was still a ten. There's ramifications to this. That means people could steal from us. I saw stealing back. <laughs> steal something it is. I think I'm stealing your girl. Give me that. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you can't steal a person. We ain't going back to slavery times. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, next question. I got so distracted. Just that. <laughs> you just really just say that. <laughs> All right, go. All right. Uh, okay. This is a good one. What food is delicious? But a pain to eat. I still, I still don't know how to answer this. It's a very easy question. What do you mean? I'm still oh, sticking like, with sloppy yes. joy. Like something that's sticky, like something that like just makes you just like feel like, oh, am I really eating this? But it tastes so good. Oh, McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, nah, I be yo. When I'm hungry, I'll get like 40, 60 piece nuggets. They make 60-piece nuggets. No, I'll, like, order... Oh, they used to have a 50-piece. I'll order, like, three 20-piece nuggets, mm-hmm. and I'll eat all of those myself <laughs> in, like, one hour. <laughs> I mean, like, did I really just eat 60 McNuggets? That's what it would be calling my name. <laughs> oh. All right, sticking on the food topic. What's the spiciest thing you've ever eaten? I can already access from Michaela. Mayo. Yeah, you just mayo. No, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> said mayo. No, my oh. grandmother tried like this Carol- Carolina ghost pepper, oh, like no. chili. Mm-hmm. It was horrible. Oh, Did you hear the name? <laughs> what? Well, of course, it's her- terrible. Oh no! I mean, I'm not into spicy food like that, but I I, I wouldn't eat no pepper. Like, you drag it. <laughs> you drag it all the way. Oh yes. 
I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we talking about? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Should kidneys be... On to the next question, guys. I'm sorry. Should kidneys be able to be bought and sold? I mean, what? technically they are. That's what you said, oh, yes, to? Yes, because I thought about my college tuition. <laughs> I mean, technically. Wait, we only need one kidney, though. Yeah. Exactly. And one lung. Yeah. So, I mean. I, I mean. Wait, 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 wait. We got to talk about finances. Uh, uh, black market. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, they do do that. But this will be legal, so there will be no point for the black market. No, that's what you're saying. They already do it on the black market. Yeah, but this will be legal. Yeah, it's but how much money we talking about? I'm trying to get a car. You get fifty thousand dollars. Technically, you said fifty thousand. My lungs. Technically, are you get more on the black market than you would if something was legal. So the black market's a very beautiful thing. <laughs> All right. We do not condone the black market. We let don't. me say that. All my FBI agents out there, <laughs> <laughs> we, we do not condone anything what the black market is selling. Nothing, no weapons. No We're drugs. just talking about realistically. <laughs> She said, oh my, I will take. <laughs> I will take back everything I said if you pay my tuition. All right. Fast and listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. Man. So before we get arrested, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, just turn this podcast off. <laughs> uh, what mythical creature do you wish actually existed? Dragons. Why? Why? You want to be, be a barbecue? Like, <laughs> I want to say unicorn, but... Elves. Elves. Yeah. Oh, kick it out. I'm I like, won't oh, be a fucking elves. dragon. I mean, we kind of already have an elf. Oh. <laughs> no, <I'm disrespectful>. <laughs> <laughs> I love no. it. Let me think. This is a hard one for me, actually. I would say unicorns, because um, they they're just horses with a fucking thing on the forehead. No. <laughs> nah. How the fuck are giraffes real, oh, but like unicorns scary. are fake? You what? want a horse with wings? I'm good. Like, since it flies, you got a bunch of shit falling down. No? Oh. Yes, that's what Pegasus. Wait, unicorns fly too? No, they don't. Oh, they don't? No, they don't. No, that's unicorns just fly. have the horn. That's, that's stupid. Pegas- <laughs> unicorns have the horn. Pegasus have the wings. And so alicorns have the horn so and wings. Wait, that's a thing? The yeah. yeah. Uh, alicorn. Wait, that's what you're talking about. I thought like, <laughs> the unicorns could fly. <laughs> What if they have magic so they're able to fly like, like you know, exactly. float they're and like shit? They blow, but that's like I call that flying. Honestly, berries. though, blame what My Little Pony little for me shit? knowing about like, that. Oh, My Little Pony show. Wait, I mean, Twilight <laughs> Sparkle is an alicorn. Wait, what the fuck is an alicorn? Wait, what? <laughs> Twilight Sparkle. Wait, My Little Pony weren't unicorns, right? Or my buggy? Those All of them: buggy. ponies, oh, unicorns, yeah. and <laughs> Pegasus. You have the thing, right? Um, okay, um, Rarity and freaking, originally it was Rarity and Twilight were the unicorns, Fluttershy, Fluttershy, only one of them had a heart, that was Fluttershy, That's you know, each of them had a different cutie mark, the fucking Care Bears? <laughs> Pretty much it was. Because, like, Twilight Sparkle, as her name implied, had sparkles. Rainbow Dash had a rainbow. Applejack so had like, apples. Intrigued that you know their names. <laughs> I watched it. I watched this for like 10 years of my life. Oh my God. I've never seen funny. an episode of my life. Okay, next question. <laughs> oh. All right. Wow. What's the funniest joke you know by heart? That you recorded it. Kevin's life. Oh. Oh, that's facts. <laughs> that's facts. Um, it depends on how you say it. I don't know. Like, you like, can say it and then I mean, funny, like, but if, if I say it normally, it'd be like... If it's like yeah. the Kevin Hart, like, special. Yeah. I don't mean, know what's my heart, but like... I don't know, yeah. jokes are just a like when he tried to curse on the teacher. Oh my oh. god, that's so funny. Like, you motherfucking bitch. <laughs> no, that's too loud. That's too loud. <laughs> he said, it's about to go, go down. down. <laughs> oh. Okay, next one. All right, back to our little My Little Pony shits. Oh, we I know that magic. <laughs> if magic was real, what spell would you try to learn first? About a cadaver. The fuck is that? Mean? <laughs> Anything on Wizard of please. Yo. Oh my god. Yo, Harry Potter, you, you guys are thinking too much. Teleportation. Like, that's not a that's spell. Not a spell. That's a fucking El Teleporto. I don't no. know. <laughs> that's not a spell. That's not, uh, what the fuck is it called? 
cool. It's a power? Yeah. yeah. It could be a spell, no, too. No, no, you have to cast a spell. I cast teleportation. Boom. No. Oh, that's a superpower. That's not a... You know um, what? Magic is superpowers. I don't give a shit. And let me, like, quickly preface in the Harry Potter universe. Yeah. I'm not a cadaver as the killing curse. Okay, I really need to watch these. We'll just do a murder. All right? <laughs> we have spooky season. What do you think? No, it ain't all about murder. Yes, it is. <laughs> I mean, Oh, we're gonna skip that one. None of us work hard. Okay. <laughs> wow. 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 No, my paycheck says <laughs> definitely. If animals could talk, which animal would be the most annoying? Cats. Birds. Parrots. Yo, parrots are already talk. talk. You call that that shit talking? <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait, what? I mean, like what? actual human speech. Like they have their own, like like birds. Actual you sentences. Them tweet all the time. I'm like, okay, but cats oh, don't have bitch over there. Oh my god, pigeons could talk. Oh, yo, yo, if New York pigeons, pigeons can talk, yo, I'm about to show that. Not even, over there. not even regular pigeons. New York pigeons. Wait, see, that would be funny. Like if New York pigeons could talk, that'd be fucking hilarious. Like you see, I think it's headphones. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think that would be. Fun. But you said annoying. That would be annoying. <laughs> yeah, yo, let's pull up on that human. <laughs> Take his food. <laughs> Take his bread. <laughs> Shoot. All right. Oh, <clears throat> we've all experienced this. What's the most depressing meal you've eaten? Ice cubes. Nothing. What? <laughs> you said ice cubes. Wait, ketchup on the side? Like, <laughs> I wish. Let me tell the story that yo, it was a, it was a very sad, cold February morning. <laughs> I had no food in my house. Apparently, but yeah. I, st- <laughs> I still looked around like an idiot. Pick up a bowl, go in my freezer. I see nothing in there but ice cubes. So I'm like, yo, I'm hungry. I need something to help me survive so I, go to, so I can go to the supermarket. So I see the ice cubes. I'm like, yo, I gotta eat that shit. I take out like eight of them. Just pour them all in the bowl. Sit down, watch my anime. Mom comes in, she's like, what the fuck are you eating? Liquid. <laughs> <laughs> Important question, what anime were you watching? I was watching Fairy Tale. Right? Good. Oh, I was going to say Fairly Odd Parents. I'm like, huh? No, that's, I was about to say Homeboy, that's a cartoon. That's my anime. <laughs> Anyone else know the pressing meals up in there? No. I said nothing. It's just, yeah. That's not a meal. Uh, yes, what? Uh, eating nothing. Eating nothing. Seaweed. It's nasty. You ate seaweed before? Yeah, they have that like seaweed crisp. Those are disgusting. It's nasty. And it's I had, nasty. Yo, I had sushi for the first time on Thursday. Oh. Yo. You sushi? I don't like, I, I'm scared to <laughs> I'm scared to eat like things that aren't cooked. I was no, scared to. I had to. cooked sushi, but it was still. There's such thing as cooked sushi? Yes. Yeah, yeah it's called California roll. Yo, I had the California rolls. They were shit. I hated them. Oh, I like I like so the chicken tempura. I like my fish cooked. So I eat <laughs> salmon and that's it. Okay, what's the next, right, next question? question? Hey, I saw it. Oh, shoot. Sure. <laughs> 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 I'm like, okay, you good? Okay. What's the worst backhanded compliment you can give someone? You could that we that, that we, you could give somebody. Oh. Good job. <laughs> no, nah, I think that you gotta say something and then say something underneath, like after. You gotta be like that whole like you're pretty for us or you're well spoken oh, yeah. for us. Oh. I hate those ones. Like, like you're pretty for a black girl. The fuck? Nah, I, I once like, I once I got told I got big lips for a white girl. Oh, honey, we we can talk about, <laughs> we can talk about big lips all day. Yeah, like, you got Jay Z right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, if you could be like, oh, your hair was cute today. Like, that's a backhand compliment. What we talking about? Let's, let's talk about this quickly because I've been on the end of that saying, oh, yeah, you look very nice today. To say to one of my random female friends, like, oh, just today? Yeah. I'm yeah, like, oh, like, you're overanalyzing my guy. No. Like, I'm like, you could say it, but it's the way you say it. Like, yeah, you look nice today. What? You it depends on the tone drops. Yeah. Okay. It's the, that's a backhanded compliment. It's either like, oh, you look nice today. Yeah. Like, I will. Like, fuck oh, you, bitch. you actually did your assignment on time. Or, like, oh, you did oh, your I makeup did today. Was... Yeah, oh, Lord. You see, I feel like I'm going to just get to the next question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of girls in here. Like, we hear backhanded compliments, Ooh. like, all day. Oh, this is a personal question. Who has zero filter between their brain and mouth? Kevin. <laughs> what you mean? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah, you're right. The amount of jokes I hear from you, Kevin, I mean, half my and the amount of dumbass shit that comes out of your mouth on a daily basis. Guys, I feel like, like you just say it without thinking about it. You're right. Okay, t- tell the story of the one transvestite on the train. Yo, boy, that shit was creepy. No, that was scary, actually. That could have ended really badly. <laughs> so, okay. 
I'm coming from work. I'm going to my friend's Bryson's house because I'm going to stay over there for the night, right? I'm chilling waiting for the D tray, ironically. So now. <laughs> I'm sorry, listeners. Chelsea just like choked up her, choked on her food. It was very funny. It took her a minute to realize he's a D tray. <laughs> And so now I'm just chilling, like, looking cute and shit. And then out of nowhere, these two people, like, walk in front of me. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I see, like, a... I gotta be, like, polite. I saw a man dressed as a woman. Because, you know, that's what he is labeled as. That's what he labeled himself as. Was he a transgender or just dressed as a woman? He was just as a woman. Well, I mean, you don't really what know the person, so... so okay, he was, I would just have said they... It was a brawlic dude okay. dressed as a they woman, all right? were very masculine looking. Very masculine looking. Okay. Dressed as a fiend. Dressed just as effeminate. A Got you. There's nothing wrong, but... But well, yeah. We are very LGBTQ friendly, seeing as, especially me, myself, am LGBTQ. Yes. So, and then the next guy was like a, you know, you dress like a guy, basically. Now, the guy that was just a woman, he was like, I'm going to say 6'3", six, 6'4", six, just yeah. muscles. Like, think of a gym rat in jail. That's what his, that's, <laughs> that was his body type, all right? And the other dude was like your regular, schmegular looking body type of dude, right? So, now they're walking in front of me, all close up to me. I'm like, yeah, what the fuck is this? Mm-hmm. Mind you, the train chasing transition was not that packed whatsoever. There's a lot of space for everybody. Okay. So, now I'm like, yo, what the fuck? All right, this is weird. So, now they both stand next to me. And I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to just wait for the train and not make a scene. Mm-hmm. The train pulls up. As I walk to the train, I hear the big bro dude say, why didn't you stop him? And I was like, well, excuse me? <laughs> what? As he, you know, the guy, other guy was like, I didn't know you wanted him. And I'm like, <laughs> I was like, you know what? I got on the train. I put the middle fingers up as the train doors closed. <laughs> Nigga looks at me like he's cursing at me, cursing a store at me. I'm like, I hope these doors are open up because if he comes in here, I'm going to be someone's snack tonight because I cannot beat this nigga up. All right? Train leaves. Tell my friend Bryson a story. He's laughing his ass off. But I'm like, yo, I could end up on the Channel 5 News. Like, black guy gets his booty hole opened up or something. Like, no. No. He said, I was the only guy who said, I didn't know you wanted him. Yo, I was shook. I was like, yo, so wait, what? was on the platform, but didn't get on the train? Didn't get on the train. Because I feel like, I think they so were trying like to... scoping out guys? I guess so. <laughs> I feel like the bro- the regular dude was to tell him... It- no, the broad dude would tell the regular dude mm-hmm. if he wants this guy or whatever. I feel like this was happening. And then they would, like, tag team on that dude and kidnap them. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's what they were going to do to me. <laughs> but then, the good Lord prevented that from happening. <laughs> Oh, but, like, God. you see what I mean about his comments and what he does? Yeah, he'll just... First of all, the first wait. thing he'll say to you, to a new person. First of all... <laughs> that dead was... That... <laughs> really, but but oh, that, that, that was a very scarring story. <laughs> all right? <clears throat> very okay. scarring. That made funny <laughs> three days later. <laughs> Next question. Uh, <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> oh, no, nothing good happened today. <laughs> Ooh. When's censorship... Warranted. What? Okay, think about Family Guy. You know when they bleep out a word because you oh. can't say it on TV. Oh. When you Family think Family Guy bleeps out words. Yeah. I haven't watched it in a while. Sad excuse for everyone. <laughs> but like, think about a moment where you feel like, okay, this has to be bleeped out. Like you cannot say this. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. We're, we're at the age where, like, that question doesn't pertain to us. Understand the bleep. No, out. sometimes I don't understand the bleeps. Because, like, with, in certain stations, with the word jackass, they'll bleep jack, but not ass. You could say certain words on the TV, I'm just like, oh, you could say that. And but think about actions, words. too. Like, like censoring, is, is not, it goes beyond just words. Like, what action do you feel like, okay, we gotta, like, block this shit out right now? I mean, it depends on, like, what you're dealing with. Because if you're dealing with, like, a kid's show, oh, yeah. obviously you you're gonna say have, it needs... You don't even have to bleep it out, just don't say it at all. Yeah, like, don't no, say it at all, don't do it at all. Yeah, tell it to but, Disney, like, all right? Put all these innuendos in this shit. Oh, like, I mean, <laughs> but they go over kids' heads, so it's good. And yeah, five years. And plus, like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> every SpongeBob episode ever. Oh, oh my God. Okay, what's the next question? Oh no, none of us got married. Imagine. Actually, I mean, I'm what were you telling married? me the other day? Oh, oh yeah, so guys, I know you don't know me, oh, but um, quick story. <laughs> so. My friend Kiona, well, not friends anymore, 
Buck put that in there. <laughs> I came back into the room, right? I just came from the bathroom. Sorry, no TMI. By and, room, he means our club room in which the podcasts are held. Yes. And I saw Kiona without her, her hijab on. So now I'm like, oh, shoot. Uh, so what happens now? Like, do we get married? Like, I'm joking. He's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, wait. You're joking, right? You're joking, right? And she's like, no. And I'm like, oh, fuck. So now I literally, she tells me the whole, like, dating process in terms of dating someone who's, like, you know, of the Muslim culture. I learned about a Wali two days ago. A Wali is basically someone who goes on a date with, like, the man and woman. Like, you basically cannot be alone. A chaperone, basically. A chaperone. And I'm like, I'm like, yo, what? And she's like, would you date a girl if you had to go through that? I'm like, that's a, that's a lot of thinking right there. <laughs> like, let's say I'm saying some sweet, you know, whatever is to her. And then this guy comes and like, oh, yes, that's what I like to hear. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think oh, that's like, the accent, right? <laughs> I think that's like a cultural thing. Cause like, if you think about like a hundred years ago, that's what they were doing that's every a, day. That's a hundred years ago. 2019. I don't want to be on a date. I'm talking my sweet nothing to this girl. <laughs> and then this guy's like, yeah, good job, man. Why I gotta good be job. A guy huh? Why I gotta be a guy chaperone? Woman chaperone. Oh yes. Treat my girl with Well, respect. what if it's like a friend? <laughs> if it's chaperone. a friend? It depends on that. Room, okay, because some friends are borderline crazy. Because <laughs> they'll be like, oh, don't talk to my girl like that. Don't touch her hand. Like, <laughs> I, okay, I'll put myself in these shoes. I don't... Let's put myself in these shoes, all right? Let's say, I don't know, my one of my best female friends are going on a date with this guy she really likes. And she's like, yo, Kevin, can you chaperone like us or whatever? Because, like, we have whatever, family, culture, and she needs someone that she's very close to to be there with her. She doesn't want her family there, right? I'll be like, yeah, sure, I'll come with you. I'm not going to be like every time he says something, like, oh, so what's your intentions with her? You just want to like put it in for like one night or do you want to put it in for 20 years? All right. I'm not going to be like that. Okay. This is another example of him having no brain to mouth filter. (laughs) But listen, I'll be like this. Let's say they want to go somewhere alone for like, I don't know, five minutes, like talk. Do your thing. Go for an hour. Like go. Just text me to make sure I don't get in trouble. Moral of the story, okay. Kevin is a bad chaperone. I'd, <laughs> right? I'd, I'd be a great chaperone. I'll just be like, listen, you have an hour, you okay? Have an hour. That's the exact opposite of what the chaperone's supposed to do. If you don't text me in an hour, I'm calling everybody. You can die in three seconds. <laughs> like, sorry, I wasn't watching them, so sorry, I I'm like, listen, like, he took her to the train station. I'm pretty sure they're in his room right now, but... He's enjoying herself, I'm assuming. <laughs> okay. Maybe he's being in a safe bedroom, just like, watching it. So, no. <laughs> this is not the prehistoric times. Let's go to the next question. <laughs> All right. Uh. <laughs> What's the funniest word in the English language? Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It really is. Really? Y'all pick motherfucker? What, what would you That's pick? That's my favorite curse word. What the fuck is this? I've said giggity. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do it just like Quagmire. Oh, giggity, giggity. <laughs> And it's English language, so I find that to be the point. Whenever I hear someone say it, I just start laughing. Like, I mean, I think the only reason it is funny is because of Quagmire, though. Yeah, yeah I mean, like... Like, there's every, a culture around it now. But every joke has an origination to what's made it funny. Think about it. Like, I don't want to use this joke because it's already, like, not funny. Like, your mama, right? Your mama jokes? Yeah, your mama jokes. Okay. When those first started... They were hilarious because they originated from someone or something, whatever. They, they're they dead now. Mm-hmm. And that's what made it funny because there was an origination point where it wasn't funny, but when someone said it in this type of t- like way, it became funny. So when Quagmire said giggity, that's the origination which made it funny because he said it in a funny manner. A little history, guys. All right. Kevin talks. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next question. <laughs> yeah, that's stupid. Okay. What? Oh. Okay, this is a good one. This is the opposite of what we dealt with before. What animal would be the most terrifying if it could speak? Lions. Bears. Bears. Oh, bears. No. <laughs> no. No, no. I think any domesticated Alligators. animal that you've had as a pet. Alligators like, ah, my mouth is big. Ah, come in it. No, I feel like a snake would be scary. No. I feel I like any... Voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gorilla. Gorilla? No, else? guys, guys, guys think of it this way. <laughs> if any of our pets... Yeah. Started talking, all the I, shit they can tell. Not even that, you can make money off of it. like, woof, I saw you beat your meat last night. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that with the dogs in my room, though? Because you think the dogs are going to talk, they're like, all right, whatever, I don't give a shit. You're, you're sleeping over there. Nigga, Thomas, I'll speak the next day, like, yeah, man. I you're, saw you. <laughs> your dog 
will expose the shit out of you. Be like, hey, yo, he had a different girl over here last night. She smelled like, like burnt chicken. <laughs> like a chill. <laughs> like, I'd be like, I don't even care what the dog said. Like, oh, shit, your dog could talk? <laughs> no, imagine if everyone had like a Ted type of like. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yo, that would be. No. Nah. I'll, I'll be so happy with like. Yeah, because you like sex jokes 24-7. No, but he talks about more than just sex jokes. It's like, it'll be a funny incident every day with that man. Yeah, when we but dare. Like, would you bring him outside? Yes, I would. No. Of course. Let's see if you walk around and talk and Have shit. you met Kevin? Of oh, course he this would. This is talking bear, people. What's good? Talking bear. Like, what? Teddy, teddy bear? Nah. This is my talking teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> he smokes hookah. Somehow he fucks bitches. I don't know. Like... <laughs> Yeah. And he can never say that his dick's bigger than mine either. Oh, <laughs> what? He's like my stuffing. Oh my god. Okay. Nah, I'm gonna I'm shut up about that one. That was that was too spicy. Who? What's the? Oh no, I have no hair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's other people in the room, but okay. <laughs> oh okay. When was the last time you yelled at someone? Come on, I can't have all the fun. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Like. So, the last time I yelled at someone was... You're I, so happy about it. Yeah. Because it was a funny situation. <laughs> so, one of my friends had came here, and she was telling me about how, basically, she was in, like, this fucked up situation where her friends fucked her over really badly. And then we had a friend in common who was coming to visit us. And she told me that the friend we had in common was still friends with the other people who fucked her over. So I'm like, yo, you really just gonna sit here and let these bitches talk shit about her and not say shit to them? Like, what the fuck kind of crap are you on? Anyone else? I don't remember the last time I yelled at I do. It was yesterday. <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't yesterday. It's was actually because of Michaela and her friend... Her name is, his name is Nas, right? It was two days ago. So, okay, so let me explain the story. It was funny afterwards, but it was, I was very mad when it happened. So I'm walking back from the basketball court. I had a very bad day on the court. So I was already like kind of heated. And so I called Michaela because I, I noticed she called me. So I'm like, all right, let me call her. I'm talking to her about where she's at still and I'll go to meet up with her and blah, 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 blah. And then she merges the phones, the phone calls with this guy named Nas. Mind you, Mm-hmm. I didn't know who he was at the time. First of all, his name is Nasi. Uh, he said I can call him Nas. All right? <laughs> so I'm going to call him Nas. So I'm like, who the fuck is this nigga on the phone? So I, I'm confused. Viewer discretion advised. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yo, who the fuck is this guy? So I'm, I'm still talking because now I'm mad because they're talking over me. Because then he's, he doesn't go to John. He doesn't go to John Jay. So he needs someone to let him inside the school. And because this dumbass forgot his stupid CUNY ID card. Yeah, so, well, I didn't know that at the time. So then he's like, yo, Michaela, can you come and get me? And her fat ass didn't want to get up. So <laughs> I'm, they're, get, they're complaining on the phone. He's like, what do you mean you're not going to get me? So now I'm like, why are you two arguing this? I'll get you. Like, I'm coming back to the school. I don't know who you are, but I'm going to let you into the school, okay? Like, I'm screaming in the phone. Everyone's looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, I will let you into the school, all right? So both of you shut up, all right? You're making me mad, er. So now, <laughs> I'm running to school because I told this man that I'll be there in four minutes. I'm like six minutes away. So now I'm like running. I'm okay, that's on you though. I'm talking. Anyways. <laughs> you both got me mad that day. All right? So now I'm running. He's describing what he's wearing. This thing is like I'm wearing an Inuyasha shirt. <laughs> no. No. It was an Inuyasha hat. Get it straight. He said shirt. He said right? hat. I was on the phone. I heard shirt. All right? Yeah, because you need your ears cleaned. I was probably because I was running. I was like, all right, shut the fuck up, all right? So I'm like, all right, what do you look like? Couldn't describe himself. I'm like, all right. I, we hanged up on you for a minute. I'm like, what do you look like? He's like, I'm black. I'm like, okay, thank you. <laughs> that's all uh, I needed to that's know. That's very specific. He's like, okay, I'm in front of the school. I'm like, all right, stay in front of the school. I'm running. I'm still mad. This couple cuts me off, and I'm like, oh, my God. Take your love somewhere else. I'm, you're in my way. I'm mad. And then I like do some, I juke at some football shit. And then I accidentally hit the girl with my bag. I felt bad. And I looked at her and I'm like, hey, I'm sorry. I kept running. <laughs> meet up with Nas. The minute I meet up with this nigga, it was funny jokes. Like, you know, because, you know, guys don't stay mad at guys too long. We start laughing and shit. I let him in the school. 
and come in here, end the story. I forgot what the moral of the story was supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> last time you yelled at someone. Oh, yeah, that's the last time I yelled at somebody. <laughs> well, two people. He went on a whole five-minute story <laughs> to forget what he was talking about. <laughs> Once again, proof of his no brain to mouth filter. What's the most historic thing that has happened in your lifetime? Historic. Meaning that it could be either in your life or externally. What do you mean historic? <laughs> be my that's life. Some, like, <laughs> like something, yeah, something that happened in your life is like, I can never forget this. Okay, I have this one, but it's very traumatic and kind of gory. So, totally, totally. no. <laughs> so, I was like two, three years old. Okay. And I was playing tag with my dad, right? And I had my, I had my sippy cup in my hand. My dad had the very smart idea to close the door. So, I'm running around the house, full motion. I fucking slam into the door, right? So, my sippy cup, like, jams into my mouth. And my front two teeth get, like, knocked inside of my mouth. And one of my teeth falls out. So, my mom is taking me to, like, the doctors. And, like, I'm not feeling any pain or anything. I'm like, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. What's what's wrong? And my mom's like, you're bleeding out of your mouth and your teeth got knocked out. Oh, wow. Like, we get to the doctors. Supposedly, they put me on, like, anesthesia. Mm-hmm. But I still remember everything. And, like, it didn't hurt at all. But they, like, had to remove the two teeth. And then I remember going home and putting all three teeth under my pillow. Did you get done? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> you got money. Like, I got that tooth fairy money. And let me see. Most historical moment in my lifetime. Hmm. This should be a good amount. There's nothing really funny. Nah, it's not funny. Then we don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. <laughs> what about you guys? I mean... How my sister being born? Oh. I was um I was seven. I was in first grade, and my teacher called. Um, you know how you get the phone calls in classroom. No, like, okay, Chelsea being dismissed. I'm like, okay, why am I being dismissed? Because my parents never picked me up from school. Mm-hmm. And she's like, oh yeah, congr- tell your mom I said congratulations on the baby. I'm like, <gasps> sister. I was like, oh my god, I have a sister. And my mom picked me up. We went to the hospital, but when I got there, like she wasn't born yet, so. I was just waiting around, and um, they put me in the waiting room because I couldn't be in the actual room. Mm-hmm. My mom was bleeding and stuff. Oh so I'm just like, they literally put me, like, the door was here, and I was sitting in front of the door on a chair. And this doctor walking past me, not even talking to me. I'm so confused. I'm like, why am I sitting in a chair in a hallway? <laughs> and, yeah, and then she was born. And she was born on the day that I was, I told my mom, okay, I want my sister to be born April 5th. And she was born on April 5th. Oh, so, yeah. true story. Thanks. Oh, maybe cry a bit. Sure. <laughs> Damn. Oh, man. Alyssa, Kevin, you got anything? I got something, actually. Okay. This actually happened. It? it is 2 30. Yeah. Actually... Everybody out there is sick. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually another baby story. Mm-hmm. So, since I was like, I don't know why I always had this obsession. Not obsession, but like. I always wanted this to happen in my life. Since I was 11, I always wanted a nephew. Because, like, in my family, mm-hmm. it's mainly girls. <laughs> like, only girls for some reason. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yo, I'm outnumbered. Like, I don't love this. <laughs> I don't love this. And my sisters have all had, do- like, daughters right. and shit. I'm like, okay, so I guess I have a lot of nieces, but I have no nephews. One day, I get a, a text on Facebook from my sister. And she's like, congratulations. She's like, you're welcome. I'm like... I was saying you're welcome for it. Like, it says a picture of a baby. And I'm like, who that? It's <laughs> like, mind you, I didn't keep in touch with my sister for a good two years because she was in Trinidad doing her own thing. I'm in New York doing my own thing. So I just like, unfortunately, I had to edge her out a bit. She's like, you're welcome. You have a nephew. So I'm like, don't fuck with me. Wait, was a picture of the baby or the son of There's a picture of the baby because she was she oh. just, she gave birth. Oh, and I was man. like, oh my God, I have a nephew. So then I go to my mom, I come home, she's like, yo, when was Crystal pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, oh, I didn't tell you? And I'm like, no, you, you didn't tell me that she, my sister was pregnant. She's like, I know, I told you, you just probably forgot. And I'm like, I no. wouldn't know if my sister was know. pregnant. Like, I forget. A, I told her, I forget a lot of shit. That I forget your name sometimes, mom. <laughs> I forget where the food is half the time. 
Kevin's mom. I'm not Kevin's mom. I can attest to how forgettable she is, too. But I would not forget if I could potentially have a nephew. <laughs> That's all you wanted. That's all I wanted. I just want to like be able to be like, yo, just ignore your mom. Listen to me. Like, but, uh, what's your nephew's name? Yo, I forgot. <laughs> oh, he wanted it since he was eleven. Don't even know you. Don't worry. I just I want, yo, I forgot about the name entirely. I'm like, I have a nephew. Like when he visited this like, summer. Hey, nephew. Right. Like, when my you sister. Be glad you, like say my name. It's like it's, you know what's bad about it. So this summer, actually, my sister, her husband, and my nephew. <laughs> visited America for the very first time, uh-huh. right? Well, not the very first time for her, but for him. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, it's like it's to be my nephew in person now. She says his name, of course, throughout the whole vacation, and yo, I don't remember it. <laughs> it was so bad. What's the first letter? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> you were so and you, know, bad you know what makes it even worse? I know I'm not helping my case, but we took a trip down North Carolina to see my other sister, right? Because mm-hmm. she wanted to meet her nephew as well. So now, there's, like, I'm in that car with them all for like eight to nine hours. It was terrible. All right. I never was so mad to have a nephew because this, this man, I mean, this little boy, kept crying. It, How old is he? <laughs> yeah. you know? Yo, it was annoying. It was How like, old is he? he? At that time, he was one. Like, one in a few so months. So, how can you be mad? Yo, I was mad. So oh, my I God. If anything, you should have helped him stop crying. No, I was mad. Oh it, was like, it, was, it was like 11 at night. I'm trying like, to... I want to cry too. <laughs> right? So, it's 11 at night. I'm trying to sleep on this, this freaking van that we rented. It was nice and comfy. I'm trying to like relax and some music. All I hear is... Ah! I'm like, yo. Like, I love you, but shut up. I'm like, looking, oh looking at the back and go, shut him up. Like, damn, yeah, he's annoying. Just be like, hey, yo, my man. Yo, I... Shut the fuck up. I always be telling Kevin Dad, I, I feel so it. sorry for whatever kids he has. Yo, that's Yo, what I'm saying. Like, you can't tell me to shut up. My kids will hate slash love me. They're going to hate Emphasis you. Emphasis on the hate part. No, no. Think about this. When, when he or she is a... No, I wanna, Explain I wanna, what you want your son to be like. Son. I did. Explain, Explain what you want your son to be like. Normal. No. <laughs> no. He said... Normal. He specifically wants a son that's interested in football. No, and basketball. No. You said football. Oh, yeah, football. You said football. <laughs> He wants his son to be interested in football. Want him to have that quarterback build and everything. I want my son to be healthy. Like, is that a problem? I want him to have that nice physique. Don't you? Like, you want him to be on an NFL team or something? Yo, you know how much money I get? <laughs> you said you get it. It's not you. It's your son. Man, I'd be like, yo, I've, I've raised that man. You're like, man, All right. man, only thing you get out of that deal is a new house or a car. That's it. That's I'll good. take that. Shoot. It's the new car. That's if your son doesn't hate you too much. He right? will love me. All right? Cause I'm gonna be a Debbie dad. Fuck my father. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make three million dollars. Fuck him. <laughs> Babe, LeBron James. I never met my dad, but I know he's somewhere. Like, damn. Mm. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, uh, no. Actually, I'm having next. This is not a question. It's more of a statement. Now, like when we have kids, how do you think you guys would? No, it's not. It actually, is a question. Yeah, it's a question. How would you guys feel like you would raise them? I feel like, I, I mean, I was raised pretty good. Like, I had both my parents in my life, thank God, and they're still together. So, I live with both of them. They raised me pretty good, me and my sister. Like, they respect me, I respect them. They trust me, I trust okay. them. So. I'm saying how, like, in the future, I know you may not See, know this, mm-hmm. but how would you feel, like, at this moment? How, what would your mindset be? Like, how would you, would you feel you'd raise a child? Like, See, it's hard, of... it's hard to answer that because realistically, you can try to raise your child the best, yeah, and they but the out. child experiences it differently. I know. I'm not saying... Like, okay, I'm going to give like a sort of personal story. So, like, me and my brother and my sister. Mm-hmm. Me and my brother are, like, almost the same. Mm-hmm. We both, like, almost did perfect in high school, did good in school. He went to college, but he had dropped out, basically. Mm-hmm. I'm still in college. And then my sister. My sister almost flunked out of high school. Got suspended. Almost got expelled. <laughs> Damn. Almost got expelled. Like Never even went to college. And then left the house as soon as she could. Like, we were all three of us grew up the same way. Mm-hmm. But yeah, she is like entirely different from me and my brother. But yeah, I feel like those 18 years is really based on the parent. And then after that, it's based on whatever you do after that. But I feel like like parenting you lay that you lay down the groundwork 
and then you kind of just build off of that. And yeah, but, like, it's so off. hard with, like, the child experiencing things differently. Like, you could think you're doing a good job, mm-hmm. but then the child would be like, stop impressing me, mom. Mm-hmm. I'm like, listen. I, that's like all he's See, and that's is. another thing. I think <laughs> ass whippings have died down, and I will still be doing that. I will, too. Like, I believe. You know, that's a problem, because law, the problem is now, kid. I mean, parents do, like, how do I say this, punish their kids. It's not, it's, they don't do it the right way, though. They don't do yeah. it the right way. It's like you have kids be like, Martha! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if I told my mom about her first name, I would not be sitting in this chair right now. That's facts. I call my mom. I'll be 30. I'll be like, Mom. Yeah, Mommy. Like, I don't, I don't play nah, that. Nah, we don't, we don't say Mommy no more. Like, <laughs> I love my like, Mommy and Daddy. That's and what I call them. I, these punishments that I hate that I think are absolutely, like, archaic and, like, fucking Same irritating is, like, those parents who want to give their kids technology and everything. Uh-huh. And then want to go through their kid's phone. Oh, hell no. Like, hell no. How are you going to give them privacy. something like that and invade every personal thing about their life? That's how you got to trust your kids and, like, yeah. and, like tell them what, what you should do, what you should not do. And I hate parents that, like... Monitor go, everything. Go, go sit in the corner and look at the wall. You see... What? I, I, <laughs> like, I, that's I, not... I'll be that one that be having fun in the corner, though. Like, I'm like, like I got my imagination. Like, to go back to what you said about looking... Through, through your kids' phones, I agree with you, but as as being a it happened to me too. Being, I fucking hated it. As being a kid that looked at some dumb shit in his life, <laughs> I feel like it was something my parents had to look at my phone because I I remember I was like fifteen, fifteen. Yeah, I was looking up. Yo, how do you like kick the Pope out of America? <laughs> what? Because, I knew I was gonna do it. Okay, see, no, see, but that's different. But like, but it also going like, through individual text messages. Like, looking oh, yeah, at who your kid's texting, yeah. what they're saying, like... See, but if you look at today, me. that's, like, a lot of problems, like, a lot of suicides is because people, their kids are being bullied in school and the parents don't know. Now, like, I'm not saying look through your kid's phone, but, but I'm just I being aware like, of what they do. I feel like every now and then, parents should just sit down and have a conversation with their children, regardless of what it is. It could be once a month conversation. It could be about anything. So how are you doing in school? Um, any, may do any friends, anybody I mean, bullying you? I like, I feel like... Any boyfriends, any girlfriends? Exactly. <laughs> like, I feel like you should have those conversations with kids because they're not going to talk to you right away. And I feel like, like, certain punishments, especially when they're young, should be frowned upon. So, like, if a kid's talking, mm-hmm. you shouldn't be like, oh, shut up. Like, let them yeah. talk because, like, that's going to make a kid not want to talk to you yeah, anymore. My, parent, my dad always said, you always have a voice in this house. Just explain why. I like so, that. you know... Mm-hmm. Always just talk to your kids. Most parents believe that's the thing that most parents don't understand. They believe their word is the only word. No, you can have a word, you know, at the end of the day, (laughs) I'm the parent, but you can. That's what I'm saying. The problem is they believe that their word is absolute and there's no going against it. I'm like, no, we're not going to disobey you, Mm -hmm. but if we feel like there's something wrong, we're going to tell you because we respect you. And I'm going to bring this up seeing as like LGBTQ is like a good, like a big thing right now. I'm going to raise my child where I don't care. Same. If they want to be transgender, if they want to be gay, mm-hmm. in fact, I don't want my kid to have to come out to me. Mm-hmm. If my kid was straight, straight, they wouldn't come out. Why should my kid have to come out if they're gay or bisexual or pan? Respect. What came out to his parents as straight? <laughs> like, yeah. like, Dad, he was like, got some he was trying to question, you. like, how come straight people don't come out to their parents? And he made a whole video about coming out to their parents. I love it. Like, yeah, if, if straight people. Like, don't hey, have to come out. Why do gay people? Why do bi people? Why do trans? Like, like hey, they shouldn't have to. And I true, why are they coming out to the parents? I feel like the parents should know. Yeah, like, like you shouldn't hide anything from your parents. Like if my son, like your own personality. if my son was to come home with a guy, I'd be like, okay, but that door's staying open, just like it would if <laughs> yeah. your girl was in there. <laughs> like they I'm gave like, no special treatment. Door I'm stays like, open. You a guy. Okay, let's sit down. More and have a conversation. This, speaking about your son or daughter being gay, I remember us having this conversation on the train actually. Oh my god, what's the train like what the fuck are you This about? is an example of Kevin's brain to mouth filter. So, he said no, I'm he not said, it's it's my no. it's my, how I would raise my kid, relax. Oh, so just like everyone in this room, I'm pretty sure a main majority of whoever's listening. The execs right now, that are missing and everybody else. <laughs> yes. We wouldn't mind if our son or daughter is gay, straight, whatever. So I told Michaela on the train that listen, if my son is gay, I have a problem with that. Let him be gay. I don't care. Like, he loves who he loves. Mm-hmm. My only thing is, all right, okay, I don't want you coming to my house one day and you tell me that your ass cheeks hurt, all right? 
You gotta be the one for Andy Ash okay, Cheeks. Alright? I'm done. I'm leaving. Right? Why would he call? Why would he tell you this? Like, hey, Dad, I got anal on the way. I keep making so, the joke to Kevin that I'm he's like, okay if his son's gay as long as he's not a bottom. Yeah, exactly. Or if, you, if, or if you are, you if, or if you are, hide that shit from me. I don't want you being, you walking in, I see you whipping, and I'm like, yo, what the fuck? But just, I'm, I didn't say this, I'll add this now. There will be exceptions. Let's say my son is, I don't know, I'm throwing physical characters. He's like 5'8", alright? Just regular build, skinny, whatever. And I see him coming with his mans. Man is like, I don't know, 6'2". Okay. Build, build like a linebacker. I'll be like, listen, I don't agree with you. I know what I told you before, but... I will understand if you're not the dominant one, okay? I will understand completely. So wait, so you're okay with your son being a bottom if he's a twink? What? You know, you can explain these definitions to me? I don't know what this means. Okay, I don't know a twink is like the small, scrawny kind of guys. No, no, I'm just comparing no, him to you're like... you're comparing him to a dude that was almost like a I'm taller him, than him. I'm comparing him to a dude that could beat him up, all right? <laughs> A do? twink. But sometimes it don't matter how big you are. You sometimes still can't. Oh, and the mindset nah. matters too, actually. Sometimes. Let's say, okay, I'm going to throw in basketball for all my basketball heads up here. Let's say my son has, I'm sorry for any LeBron James fans out here, has the LeBron James mindset. Just pass, all right? Like, I believe my teammates can do a better job than me in this certain scenario. My son's going to have, if my son has that mindset, it doesn't matter how small the guy is, I know. I'm, he's gonna be at the bottom. But if my son has a Kobe Bryant, the Michael Jordan mindset, I'm gonna do it myself. I'm gonna take it in alone. I'll be like, listen, if I know you have this mindset, I expect you that at least 98% of the time, son, you, you gotta be the dominant one. Like, you gotta be the one dropping 81. All right. Dad, get the fuck out of my room. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's the middle of the day. I don't want to have this conversation right now. And I walk, now. I walk away like, I, I love you. Okay? This is why I'm telling you this right This now. is why I feel sorry for any kid Kevin has. <laughs> Kevin even told me if he has a daughter, he don't want her. Yeah. I don't want her. He, he basically already sold me his daughter. I did. $10,000. If you had a, that, watch, God gonna give you a daughter. I know. Yes, <laughs> That's what I keep telling. And I even told him, watch, you gonna have a son, and then his son's gonna be transgender and want to be a girl. I was be like, okay, I'll, I'll accept it. And I'll still love him. He's still gonna have a daughter. Though. <laughs> it's still gonna be a girl. I was like, listen, son, um, <laughs> listen, I'm, daughter, it's a daughter. Shit, damn, <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm like, all right, I still love. No, you. wait, why don't you want a daughter? It's just because, like, okay, I explained this to her actually. So it's very simple. Because I kind of. <laughs> there we go. The reason why I don't want a daughter is because of this. Just one simple reason. When if you have a daughter, you have to worry about millions of dicks in the world. Yeah. Hey. Unless she's lesbian. Think I worry about millions of pussies. So, like, <laughs> it's like there's no winning. So now, now let's say my daughter is straight, right? And she brings some guy over. Say it's her friend from school named Jack. And air quotes. Did you see air quotes on every word he's over and enunciating? Then, and then she'll be like, oh yeah, we're just going to go and study in my room alone. I'll be like, the fuck you ain't? Be like, Keep that door open. Like, nice... Not even, you're not going in the bedroom. You're going I'll right be like, down the room with some two couches and sit down. There's a nice TV right there where you can exactly. plug in your laptops and do your homework on that, okay? I got to be worried about that shit. And we don't still know how to worry about that too. But then it's like, he wouldn't tell, he wouldn't make it so blatant. You wouldn't be like scared and be like, okay, I gotta do this in the low low because I don't want to get caught caught and get kicked out out. So then- <laughs> Why you gotta repeat the word like that? <laughs> it's like getting kicked out out. And like, I don't want to have to worry about millions of dicks. Like, like I can't fight off millions of dicks. I can fight off one. I can fight off two. But like I can't. That's so much energy. I just feel like I don't want to. Well, I don't want to say I don't want a daughter, but I just don't feel like it's daughter. so much like work. work to raise one, especially when she hits. 13 oh and then her period. period oh lord like i know how i was but damn what i don't but then I, having a son is also hard too it's hard too don't get me wrong i mean i don't want to raise a mama's boy but but if he so happened to like but, me more than his father well <coughs> realize this realize this with a son with a son i can't even say this i'm sorry man race we're idiots all right <laughs> we're easier to like like to, to like 25 yeah <laughs> like, we're easier to like Okay, we we follow rules like all right, we're gonna do it because we're idiots and we're not gonna disobey our parents because we don't want to get smacked. Our girls at that certain age. No, would be see, like, like 
oh, what? No, I'm going to do this instead. Yeah. Half the time. Not all girls. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I saw her looking at me. All right? No, but it's also the thing of, like, how boys are, aren't are punished for things that girls are punished for. Yeah, and we can talk about, like, gender rules and all that stuff. But, like, yeah. But, like, to do, like, a quick thing, like, guys can go around with shorts and a tank top. Yeah. Up until literally the age they're 18. If a girl goes out with a short and tank top, she will get judged on how long it is, how much it covers, everything like that. Like, Yeah, that's true. I give you that. shit's annoying. I'm sorry. I didn't make the society. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make society. I, I, I think that's wrong, too. Girls should be able to wear whatever the hell they want to wear without being negatively judged. I completely agree with you on and, that. Or cat club. Uh, yeah, especially the cat call. Yo, I feel so... Yo, quick story about that. So... Wait! <laughs> 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 you gender- got cat called? <laughs> Let me explain. So, it was gender bender day, remember? Oh, uh, yeah! Oh, okay. So, I was wearing leggings. I was wearing a wig. And I was wearing my ex-girlfriend's, like, t-shirt or whatever. It was like a, a blouse or whatever. I don't know. It fit. That's all I mean. <laughs> I was very skinny back in the day. His first mistake was wearing leggings with a regular shirt. <laughs> Listen, I'm... I was only a girl for one day. So what? Uh, right? And you know, in like exactly that was what I was yeah, telling him. Blouse with like I didn't know what I was doing. It's the fucking I told her to bring a shirt. She brought that and the leggings, and I'm like, okay. Well, then she got a little taste. I guess not. All right, yeah, there we go. And my friend Ariana brought the wig for me, so I'm like, all right, I'm a brunette with leggings and a blouse. This could work. I'm walking around thinking I'm cute and shit, right? Because like all of us is wild. And all the guy, yo, all the guys, all took the that guys, to heart, right? There was guys wearing maxi dresses, yeah. mini dresses, oh, everything. Maxi. Literally in our gym class, we had a beauty contest. This, I came in fifth place. Just saying. Okay. <laughs> You're like, I'm back and I'm here. <laughs> and then while I'm going back upstairs, because you know it's the end of the day, getting ready to change back into my regular clothes. I hear it say someone say, Woo, damn that ass and I was like, Excuse me? <laughs> and then the guy runs away after he finds it that I'm a dude. So now I'm like, yo, what the fuck just happened? Like, what? So now I'm continuing to walk to the locker room. Like my hair is covering well, my wig is covering my face, because now I'm ashamed. All I'm hearing is, damn, I wanna <laughs> Like, I'm going to put my dick in that. And I was like, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I'm scared. And then I'm here, is some guy saying, yo, you see that shorty over there with the leggings? And, I'm, <laughs> and I, I'm naturally Mind around. You. Mind you, Kevin's like 5'8 or whatever. Nine. Wait, they really didn't know you was a girl or they just joking? They knew I they thought I was a girl. And I'm 5'10. bitch. Notice how it just went up one? With shoes, I'm 5'10". That's what I'm saying, I'm 5'10". Oh, my God. Yeah. I hate when boys do that. I'm 5'10". I'm 6'11". Six well, so, oh, where'd you, where'd you get that? I'm 5'11". I'm like, no, you're 5'9". Yeah. Stop that. Exactly, they do this. No, because the shoe gives you an inch. And you don't wear shoes. You don't wear shoes. shoes. What time? Okay. Okay, when you're going to take your shoes off, they're going to take your shoes off, right? Yes. So you're 5'8". And that's, what, that's why I say I'm 5'9". All right? <laughs> shoes, uh, shoes on, I'm 5'10". This is straight. Because 80% of the day, we're wearing shoes. Therefore, you go by your shoe height. All right? Okay, would you date shoe a girl height. who's taller than you? It depends. Yo, because guys so, yeah. look bad. They get so freaking like... Because uh, They're pride. Let me talk to you. Wait! Hey, 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 hey. Let a guy talk to you about that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> guys, I he's used... been on here for almost an hour. Okay. Hi, viewers. It's the last question. Last question. <laughs> Let me not statement. statement. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I used to be like that. I'm not going to lie. I was like, if I ever saw a girl that was six feet, even though she was cute, I'd be like, oh, no. <laughs> but then, a few months back... I learned from my disgusting ways. I was like, wow, why am I doing that? Because like, you know when a girl just is a guy for being too short? Mm-hmm. We're basically doing the same thing but on the opposite spectrum. Yep. And if I judge girls for like not talking to a guy because they're short, why am I going to judge a girl and not talk to her because she's tall? And I started thinking that way. And I'm like, you know what? If a girl's going to give me a time of day and she actually has a nice personality I could vibe with, mm-hmm. yo, fuck her height. Like, if she's like 6'4", six, 6'3", six, I don't give a shit. Like, if I vibe with her... <laughs> Yo, end of the day, please no one take this to heart. She's 6'3 when you're walking with her, but she will be 5'3 in the bed, okay? If you really have a problem, if your prize rate going to hit you that hard, remember that, okay? She is 6'3 when you're walking with her. She is a foot shorter in the bed, okay? She's still going to call you daddy, all right? Okay, okay, okay. Bye. See you next week. That's all.